So you're struggling with your heading and making good connection on the ball to score goals. Well, in today's video, we're going over how to head a soccer ball with power and score. What's up guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer where we're helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And on this channel, we release daily soccer tip, technique, and training videos all designed to help you do just that. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any new videos or live streams that we do. Let's get right into the footage. Okay, so we're starting with a very simple drill where you're gonna have your feet planted and you're just gonna practice using your forehead to power the ball back to the person throwing it to you. So as you can see, using my forehead, really um, hitting it low and hard, and that's how you really wanna develop power behind your headers. You wanna hit it back down towards um, wherever you're trying to hit it with power using your forehead. You'll also notice I'm stepping into the ball a little bit. You don't want to just use your neck um, to generate power. You wanna use almost like your whole body if you're able to. Um, so you want to really move into the ball to generate that power. You know, when he's throwing it like this, there isn't that much power on the ball right now. There isn't that much speed on it. So you need to generate it yourself. And to do that, you need to step into it. You can't just let it hit you and you can't just do, you know, like a little movement. You really want to move your body into it. So next you want to do something that you have to jump up and meet and then head back down. Now this is a little more difficult because there's timing involved and you have to really now move your body in the air to develop the power. Now running and stepping into it is obviously going to be better, but you want to practice um, ones that you actually have to develop the power just through jumping up and moving your body. But you can also take a few steps back and run or move into the ball, which is going to help you generate power as well. So have your friend throw the ball up fairly high so that you have to meet it. Um, and again, you want to try and head it down. A few of these I'm not able to, um, but you want to head it back downwards if you can. Like that one wouldn't have been so great. Um, but this one right here is pretty good. I head it back down towards his feet and that's a harder um, header for a keeper to save. So I had my friend do a few just to kind of give you a, a demonstration of someone else doing it. And he actually, for someone who doesn't really play football, was doing pretty well. He was moving into the ball. He was using his forehead. Um, he was moving his body into it. Um, and I give him one to jump at as well in a second. Um, and I'm pretty sure he uses his nose for it. But yeah, pretty good. Moving into it, using his forehead, and developing a little bit of power. I think that one might have hit his nose. So next, you're going to get into a drill where you're on goal, and we're just focusing on meeting the ball and making good connection and also generating power. Now try and aim for either corner. Practice hitting it to one side and then the other side. Come get lost with me. Come get lost with me. Just run. Now with this, you want your friend to be throwing you different types of balls, all that you can actually get to, but you want to be running onto some of them. Um, you want some to be a little more difficult um, so that you have to redirect it differently and you have to adjust because in a game, you're not going to get a perfect ball to your head every single time. Um, you know, there are going to be a lot that you have to kind of adjust your body um, and change up the way you're going to head it. So don't make every single one the same. Make some a little bit higher, make some a little bit lower, uh, make some a little more in front of you. Maybe even have some where you have to backtrack a little bit and generate even more power. Um, but just keep practicing this over and over and over again because you really want to develop the technique of heading it um, hard and low. You want to develop the technique of being able to generate power. Um, and we will get into more videos or more drills about redirecting the ball that already has power on it. But we'll cover that in a later video because I want you to get used to actually generating the power yourself first. So again, this is a great drill to do that. And we're this close to goal because all we're really focusing on right now is contact and generating the power. Uh, we'll do ones that are further out later. Okay, so just keep doing this over and over again um, to the point where you're getting comfortable redirecting the ball with power to either side. And don't worry if you miss a few, you can see that I'm missing a few here too. Um, but just keep going, keep practicing hitting it to either side. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit better now. Um, and really challenge yourself with this, you know, try out some different techniques, try out some harder headers. This is practice, remember, you know, if you're going to try a few things, this is the time to do it. Um, I will tell you that one of my favorite ways to head it, uh, I'll show you in a sec um, when I do it, 
is this one right here where you head it back in the direction the ball came from and I find this works a lot because the keeper will usually shuffle over when the cross comes in and if you head it back in that direction and you can do it accurately with power towards that corner um, it's gonna wrong foot him which makes him very hard for him to leap towards that side. Um, so that's a header I definitely recommend getting good at, is heading it back in the direction the ball came from, but obviously practice both, heading it back in the way the ball came from, and also heading it to the opposite corner. Now just keep doing this over and over again, get down to the technique, and we will definitely do a video on redirecting crossing as well. All right, guys, and simply by practicing these uh, drills over and over again, even though they're pretty simple, will allow you to have better heading ability. Sure, there are other practices you can do, like practicing heading in from a cross, which will have to do more with redirection than generating your own power, and we will cover that in later videos. Um, but with heading, you want to get the basic technique down, and you want to get used to generating your own power first before you move on to more advanced ways of heading the ball. So practice these techniques. Now, if you don't have a friend with you in order to throw you the ball or kick you the ball, um, a great way to practice this is simply against a wall, throwing it against the wall and practicing heading the ball back down towards the wall with power and doing that over and over again until you get used to the technique. Remember, a lot of heading is also timing, so make sure you throw some balls to yourself that are up high so you can jump up and meet them and head them back down. All right, guys, and so question of the day is what is your sticking area when it comes to heading? Um, is it your timing? Are you not getting enough power? on your headers let me know in the comments below guys thank you once again for watching the video please share it with a teammate and friend so we can spread the video around make sure you like it and make sure you sub to simply soccer if you are new here I'm gonna put two more videos up on the screen so you can continue to learn and improve and remember we will have a new video out tomorrow at 5 p.m. so make sure you don't miss that Thank you guys once again for tuning in remember this is simply soccer where we're helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch I'll see you guys in the next video.